No matter where you are, there's a place you can go. Inspiring the best in me. I'm Zoe. I am Ayato. I'm Teacher. My name is Jack. So I'm Kabir. I'm Miss Anna, the grade 4 teacher at AIS. This is grade 4 Tech The TED Talks are definitely the highlight of grade 4 for most students and that's because it's a project that allows them to choose something, a passion they have or something they're interested in and just go in depth, inquire. We always talk about student voice, student choice and uh, making self-determined students and that's exactly what that is. They choose something they're passionate about and then they inquire and they persuade others. My TED Talk topic was about women's rights. In the past, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, when she wanted to play sports, she couldn't because there were no teams for girls. So first of all, we needed to like write a script. So Miss Hannah had made like um, a structure to follow. I read books, articles, I interviewed some people and then I put all the information together and made a script. And then we needed to make the slides. More than half of the world's population are women and girls. However, according to the UN's report, in 2018, the managers or CEOs from companies were mostly men. Only 27% were women. We needed to persuade the people like in our hook, how we needed to persuade the people to listen to our TED talk. This is not fair. If someone wants to have a baby, why should they get fired? My TED Talk topic was about the heart. When you eat foods with a lot of fat, that impacts your circulatory system, creating cholesterol. I like felt nervous in the beginning, but then when I started uh, doing my TED Talk, I became like more confident and then I used a lot of body language and a lot of expression and then I memorized a lot of my script. And if you have too much cholesterol, then your blood vessels get narrow. Then it gets clogged. So then your blood cannot go through. I chose the heart because I think it would I thought it would be interesting to do something about the human body and, and the heart is like an essential organ. My TED Talk topic was endangered animals and saving those animals. Other examples of animals that are endangered are panda, manatees, orangutan. I felt good about it. I hope that after listening to my talk, I will, I will, you will help those animals in danger. Thank you for listening. I had to convince a lot of people so that they could be interested in my topics. My topic for TED Talks was how rivalries advance technology and science. Today, I will give you a few examples of races and rivalries between countries that have caused advances in technology and science. The arms race. The inquiry process for me was, I'd be like, at the beginning, it, I kind of thought it was going to be a small project, but then as I resor researched more and more, I realized that it was going to be a much bigger project. There was like so much stuff that I just couldn't not add or it wouldn't make sense. Another example of rivalries between the Soviets and the Americans was the space race, COVID-19 vaccines. My topic of the TED Talk is about fossil fuels. We live in a modern society in which we use a lot of energy. Why they pollute the earth and make it carbon footprint grow and grow? Renewable energy is, a, is an energy type we can't run out of. It helped me develop my research skills. I am so proud. It's amazing to see not only how hard they work and how much they push themselves and how proud they are of themselves, but also of each other. They are they just build each other up and they that builds that sense of community. They give feedback to each other, they help each other. It's just beautiful to see their growth not only as individuals but as a group. We spoke clearly, spoke confidently. And also the slides were, were very clear. You also made clear what you wanted to say with your talk. You put a lot of expression into all the important things you had to say. I really like that you spoke clearly and also you didn't look that nervous. I really like that comment. I liked it so much. I think at the end of the TED Talk, what's important is just to celebrate their growth. You made it relevant. I love how passionate you are, you are about everything. That was just so powerful. And the fact that you're standing here today and you talked with the confidence that um, the topic deserves makes me really proud and I hope that you feel the same way. To get feedback like that, it was uh, nice. I felt good about it. I mean, like, everyone did really well. 
the comments were super nice. I really appreciate them, and I'm sure everyone else in my class does too. The PYP exhibition is the culmination of the PYP years. That project is uh, for grade five, and grade four TED Talks prepare them for that moment when they have to do a big inquiry and present their findings. And that's an excellent rehearsal and preparation for that project. And it starts right here.